Hello everybody, um, it's 28th of August today and we're here at an airport and what we're going to do is just read now the letter that was handed in to Julian Assange at the Ecuadorian Embassy on the Wednesday the 22nd of August. Uh, we gave him the day to reply but he didn't reply so now this is going to go out as an open letter on the internet to people everywhere to show that we did offer a solution to the situation that he was in, or is still in, and we will go now on record um, to the world um, stating what we stated to him. Okay, right, we'll just wait for this uh, car to go past. Um, right, so, 21st of August, dear Julian, over the past several days, we have delivered a series of communications to you offering our help in respect of the dilemma you appear to be facing. As you have not replied, we can only assume for now you deem our proposal without merit. With this in mind, we send you this, our final letter, which we hope will help you change your mind. You may be under the belief that you have a good chance of resolving your incarceration and other difficulties in an affable manner with dialogue and a clever talking game relying upon convention and humanitarian law with the global powers that, would seem, that, that you would seem to have upset. We believe otherwise. It may be that you feel that you will be able to generate assurances from the Swedish government that the British government and maybe even the Americans will go some way to please you. We believe that this will not come about and if promises do materialise, then they will be reneged upon. You may someday even end up in your country of choice, Ecuador. However, please remember that the powers that be, for now, still have a very long reach and you would be prevented from travelling as you saw fit. You could swap an embassy cage for a larger one. That's all. So the question to you is as follows. Upon whose advice are you relying in order to solve your impasse? Why do you think that that which has failed up to now will produce fruit in the future? Has not the best advice that you could attract to date placed you where you currently are, in prison? I sent you an email in November 2011 warning you that you should be very careful upon relying on conventional legal experts, stroke argument, or the legal system as it prevails in general. Anyone approaching your legal problems via conventional channels is playing Russian roulette with your life. Do not forget, if they chew, if sorry, if they lose, they still go home to the TV and supper at eight o'clock at night. But as for you, so we move on. Your situation has deteriorated and will, we feel, continue to do so. How the light has been dimmed. As Albert Einstein eloquently stated, a problem can never be resolved at the level upon which it was created. The law and legal system which you are attempting to wriggle through will not be compromised. It is corrupt from the top down, and the minds which think that they can outfox it, outrun it, or outsmart it are delusional. Your opponents hold all the cards. You, my friend, need a new hand. We are certain that you have missed some very key information concerning your legal position and hence your way ahead. You are not getting proficient or competent advice, and the reason you are not is that you are not in contact with people who know the game, the players, and or their rules. We also believe that you have missed and perhaps failed to understand the mindset of your opponents, how they play the game, and for what stakes. If you have, then your best laid plans will fall like paper houses in the rain. Options. Do you have options? Certainly. Have you explored them all? No. Are you trying to use conventional thinking to get yourself out of a most unconventional situation? Yes. How many options do you have? Today, do you not have one more than yesterday? We believe that you have two main choices ahead of you. One, wait it out and play cat and mouse with the global elite and maybe get a lucky break and end up with a series of agreed to but highly limiting restrictions and compliances placed upon you so burdensome that you will wish you had never been born. You will be folded, compromised and hobbled and never be given the oxygen to light your fire again. You will be seen as but yet another also ran who attempted to take on the system and failed. Or, two, you can provide an example of creative and intelligent thought, the likes of which has not been seen in this world since, perhaps the time of Jesus, 
and ascend a podium along with the true greats of history, showing the world and its people that what, what can truly be done with truth, intelligence, courage and a motive. The powers that be will never see it coming and you will be celebrated around the world as the way shower you always perhaps wanted to be. The second option is the most feared and despised weapon which you can wheel into daylight against those who seek to tyrannize control and dominate this world. It is the law. It is the one thing that they never ever want revealing. It is the truth and it is what man, hence you are, truth. The laws of God are not subservient to the laws of man. Never have been, never will be. There is a law so strong and pure that no court of man can prevent its efficacy from delivering the right verdict your freedom. Your freedom and ability to walk the planet with unfettered tread will ignite, ignite a fission fusion reaction of such enormity and such planetary significance that the global stage would be spring cleaned overnight. Thousands of years of oppression, injustice, violence, deceit and subterfuge wiped clean in one small period of time by you. So instead of you becoming a bowed, timid, cornered, no-hoper, written off as a sex fiend or do-gooder who got what he had coming to him, written off by his well-wishers, you could, nay, would, come out with a wiki leak to end all wiki leaks. The biggest and boldest statement of man's truth there exists, and you were saving it till last. You gave them the chance to play fair. You gave them the chance to act honorably. You gave them the chance to change and be human about this. They refused, and so, your turn now. You can show the world a better way to go ahead from here, a path of honor and truth, a route which Buddha, Gandhi, JFK, Martin Luther, Jamie Rolos, Toreos, Princess Diana, uh, et al. would applaud you for taking. Follow in the footsteps of the great, not the small, where the Hagues and the Hillarys and the Obamas would have you. We will provide the information you need. We will provide the direction you may wish to consider. We will provide the protection you seek and on a scale which no strong box or bulletproof vest can assure. But we cannot do it without you. Julian, their plans may be foolproof, but I assure you they are not godproof. Don't rely on Obama to do the right thing. You do the right thing. Best wishes, Peter Smith, LLB, R plus C, mobile telephone number given. P.S. We will leave London at 5 p.m. today. Please call before then if you wish to arrange a tour. I'll now show this to the camera so Karen can include it now. We'll scan it from top to the bottom so you can read it. And I'll turn the page now. Okay, and that will conclude this chapter, and for a reference for Karen and myself, 1,000 hours.